Continuing coverage of the president's uh, news conference that happened early this afternoon. And, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of our job to let you know when things are said that aren't true, especially by people you've elected. And this, this president keeps telling untrue things. And it, he does it every single time. He's in front of the microphone. It's, it's demonstrable. I can re-rack the tape for you. There were a lot of them today. Some of them aren't really big, but they're coming from the President of the United States. Today he said, I had the biggest electoral win since Ronald Reagan. He didn't. He said this repeatedly, over and over and over again, and every time he says it, it's not true, again. Is it a big thing? No. But he's the one who brings him up. Nobody asked about his electoral college win. And here's another thing. One of the biggest questions that the, the people who ask him questions have right now is, what is this relationship with Russia? When Russia was hacking into the election, hacking into the Democrats, uh, the DNC, your guys were on the phone with the Russians. Did you talk about that? We, we don't get a straight answer on this question, which leads us to continue to ask the question. And then he says Russia is a ruse. It's fake news. The leaks are real, but the news is fake. So that's impossible. He's saying that the, the information in the leaks is accurate. After all, it's the reason he fired Mike Flynn, right? Well, he says he fired Mike Flynn because the, it's very confusing. Jeff Mason's with us, White House correspondent for the Reuters News Agency uh, and, the, and the head of the White House Correspondents Association. John Bussey's here, associate editor of the Wall Street Journal. I, I, I hear you over there, Jeff, trying not to upset the apple cart here, but we keep getting a series of untrue things. And, and it seems if... He yells at us for pointing it out and calls us names and calls us fake and stuff. When, when we are pointing out that the president of the United States just told another untrue thing, that he's going to yell about us and people are going to tweet about us. Things I don't care about at all, if they because I don't read the dang tweet. But <laughs> it, it's up to people like you and all the rest of us to point it out when the president of the United States keeps saying things that are demonstrably, unquestionably, opinion aside, 100 percent false. And when he won't answer a question as simple as the Russians are interfering in our election, this is a demonstrable true thing. Your people were on the phone with the Russians. Did you talk about the interference at all? And we can't get a straight answer on that. That's bothersome, isn't it? Well, I don't disagree with you at all, Shep, that it is Well, you can't of... disagree with any of those things because all those things are demonstrably true. Right, and I don't disagree with you. I, I think that it is the job of journalists and it is the job of the media to report the truth and to call out people in positions of power, including the most powerful person in the world, which president uh, when he says things that are untrue and you are right that he does that he does it regularly uh, and Fox CNN all other TV networks and news organizations like my own and others uh, have the responsibility to be sure that that is uh, that that is reported and that it is corrected treating Jim Acosta over there from CNN an accomplished reporter a guy I've never met but a good reporter I mean treating him like he's I'm not even going to use the word. I'm not going to give Twitter its, its, the love it needs. It, it, it's, it's crazy what we're watching every day. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. He keeps repeating ridiculous throwaway lines that are not true at all and sort of avoiding this issue of Russia as, as if we're some kind of fools for asking the question. Really? Your opposition was hacked and the Russians were responsible for it and your people were on the phone with Russia on the same day it was happening and we're fools for asking the questions? No, sir. We are not fools for asking this question, and we demand to know the answer to this question. You owe this to the American people. Your supporters will support you either way. If your people were on the phone with her, what were they saying? We have a right to know. We absolutely do, and that you call us fake news and, 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 and put us down like children for asking these questions on behalf of the American people is inconsequential. The people deserve that answer at very least. You know something, I think that the complaints about the news and complaints about news agencies, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, you know, Fox, CNN, it's all meant to deflect away from this That's issue. That's what it's for. Away from this issue. And, and when, when, he, when he's caught out with a falsehood, once again, repeating that he had the highest electoral count Which he since, didn't. Since, since Ronald Reagan, uh, you know, and the reporter calls him out on it, and he's called, called out again on it. He says, well, those are numbers that somebody gave me. And I'm thinking, yeah. well, you're the president of the United States. Uh, you're supposed to be getting good data, and you're supposed to be reflecting good data so that people have the confidence in you is meant as a deflection away from this issue. And what is the issue? His own party, people in his own party, the Democrats, the public, 
is concerned about what relationship his campaign and he had with Russia during the campaign and subsequent to that. Why was, uh, why was the White House informed at the end of January about, about General Flynn's conversations with Russia, mentioning sanctions? Why were they informed at the end of January? Why was he fired only after the press accurately reported, Washington Post broke this, the press accurately reported that uh, the uh, White House had been informed that the conversation had included uh, information about sanctions, which General Flynn had denied. So uh, there was nothing fake in that. Uh, there are a lot of questions that 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 are around what what transpired during that delay and what took place during the campaign. These are big issues, and the way to deflect attention from them is to is to rail about the press. Sitting here going round and round about these things is really otherworldly. No, I, 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 do, I have no recollection. 30 years of this, I, I never recall anything. There was it, a bit of a stream of consciousness quality to the, the, the press conference. And that's a personal style. Look, that's fine. You know, I don't the, care about that. On the one hand, you're gl you know, we're glad that the president is coming out and taking questions in a press sure. conference and spending a, a good amount of time doing it. Uh, but there was a kind of a stream of consciousness you know, quality to it, you know, his, his reference to the horrors of nuclear war. I mean, the, the, uh, it, it's, you, you kind of wonder how some of these issues get into the line of thinking that the president is pursuing. You, well, you know, today, how, how great is Melania? You know, forgive this to whoever that was. How great is Melania and how great a first lady is she going to be? Oh, that's a great question. I'm going to watch your channel. And then... Are you going to speak with the Congressional Black Caucus, an African-American reporter? Oh, are they friends of yours? It just, I mean, I, I can't pick a headline from today. I, I can't even I, pick I a place this, to start. This notion that the, that the administration has been a well-oiled machine, look, there's always hitches. To the beginning of, of any administration, you know, you're getting a lot of people into a lot of different jobs, uh, and there's confusion and some chaos. But to call the rollout of the travel ban... Uh, that was the judge's fault. Smooth. Uh, judge's and that, fault. That the subsequent problems were the judge's fault. The judge came into the equation only after crowds of people uh, went to airports to show support for the refugees coming they were in paid. And, and, and protesting against the president's action. That was a, not a well-oiled machine. That was not a smooth rollout. And the media is reporting on that. And I think that goes back to the point that you were making as well, Shep. It is our job. Uh, to call out untruth. It is our job to do good journalism. And you mentioned you felt like I was trying not to upset the apple cart. My point there is, first of all, it is good that he held a press conference. It's not the tone that necessarily I would suggest setting, but that's up to him. It's his job what kind of tone he wants to set. It is the job of journalists. It is the job of the White House press corps to ask aggressive questions. I think you saw that today. And certainly, uh, when some of those answers turn out not to be truthful, the media is following up and it is reporting that, and we'll do so when it's reporting going forward. Hope so.